hi guys i am back again with another video i wanted to make a video about um my issues with my hormones and my female problems and stuff like that and what i use to um natural things that i do to help uh better assist me in the issues that i have so and if you are interested in um, trying any of this stuff or you are interested and you have the same issue, then you should stay tuned. Okay, so I am 25 years old and I have had hormone problems ever since I was probably about 16 years old. I started noticing that I was getting a lot of facial hair. It wasn't as bad when I was a teenager, but when I got older and I, um, you know, started taking birth control pills and, you know, doing birth control, my hormones definitely got a lot worse. So, um, just a quick background on, you know, my path and my road to the issues that I've had. Okay, I started getting um, birth control when I was about 18 years old, and, um, and I got on that, I got on birth control pills because I was having, um, I had started working at McDonald's and I had started eating a lot of that food and I was 18 years old and I went and my period just would not go off. Like it would just never, it wouldn't go off. It would just stay on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and it wouldn't go off. So someone told me, oh, well, you can, you know, take birth control you know pills or get on birth control and that'll like help it what i did was i ended up getting on birth control and i got on the depo shot and mind you at the time i was already gaining weight i was already gaining like a large amount of weight very very quickly because i was um eating a lot of food i was like eating a lot of food from mcdonald's and you know i started gaining weight naturally i would gain weight because i'm putting a lot of food in my body so um my, I got on the birth control pill and no, I got on the depo shot and I just blew up. Like I was just, I just blew up. I think at, I, when I, I've always been on the heavy side, but I think I had probably gained about a good 50 pounds on depo. Like I had really gained a lot of weight. So over the years I'm on depo, I'm on depo for about three years. You know, I'm out of high school now and I'm in, um, I go to college, I go to school and um i just blew up and i started realizing that i was just like really tired all the time i was really really irritated and i didn't understand this until i got this issue fixed like i didn't realize how tired it made me so um you know i was on depo for about three years i decided to get off of the depo shot because i did want to start losing weight this was about 2011 about three years ago four years ago and I wanted to start losing weight so I started losing weight and I got off of the depo shot and I got on the um ortho tricycline it's a birth control pill that you take every day for you know every day forever so uh yeah I got on that and um I was feeling a lot better because I you know first of all I lost a lot of weight and um I was just feeling a lot better. You know, I was sleeping better at night. My knees and my body wasn't hurting because I was working out. All the weight was coming off. And I ended up losing about 40 pounds. So I was very proud of myself, very, very happy while I was still on the birth control pill. So, like, right up until about the, a year after that, I um, was continuing my weight, weight loss and all of that. And I, um, you know, stopped working out at some point. I had stopped working out. And the period problems just came back on. And at the time, I wasn't taking any kind of uh, birth control pill because I wanted to give myself a break from all of the hormones and all of that stuff and icky stuff inside my body. So, you know, hormones are definitely, you know, have their share, but they can be icky, especially when they are synthetic. Like, they're not natural hormones from your actual body. But anyway, I was, uh, I just started feeling bad. And, you know, my period didn't come on for about four months. And I mean, I thought I was pregnant. I didn't know what was going on. I was just like, oh my gosh, what is going on with me and my body? Because this is just like a mess. So anyway, um, 
I think it was about two years ago, 2013. Those issues just kept going. And then all of a sudden, my period came back on. And it came back on full force. And at the time, I had gotten married. So that was just, like, really, really, really bad for me. So I just said I, I had enough. And I went to the doctor. And I went and got a, um, a hormone replacement shot. And that's when I realized that I had a gallbladder problem because the hormones were so um, just much in the actual shot that they had given me that it, t it, it completely like swiped off my period. My period just did not come on. And um, you know, the, my gallbladder issues, I mean, I, I never had any problems with my gallbladder, but I just realized, you know, all of the hormones were, um, up until recently, I, I realized that the hormones were just really affecting my gallbladder. So that lasted for about two or three weeks and I ended up getting, I ended up losing like about 17 pounds in like a week, two weeks because I was not eating because that if you have ever had a gallbladder attack, you will understand. I don't even need to explain it any further. But anyway, uh, that is what happened. And um, when I went and got the hormone replacement shot, the physician, um, he was leaving. He was moving his practice somewhere else. So he recommended me a doctor like maybe about an hour away from where I live. And the doctor was great. He was wonderful. I went to go see the doctor. He was wonderful. He was great. He was just straight up honest with me. He tested me for PCOS. I didn't have PCOS. He um, tested my breasts, did an ultrasound. He, I mean, he did like a, um, a pap smear times three. Like he tested for any kind of issue that I had. And he said, well, and my results came back. And he said, well, ma'am, your... Um, Thyroid, your, your testosterone is very high, and I do notice that you are hairy, because I am a hairy person, you know, I have facial hair, you know, I do try to control it, and I do have, like, my arms are really hairy, and, you know, I've always been really, really hairy, so he was like, I noticed that you're really hairy, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to prescribe you Provera, it's Provera, this is not the birth control pill, this is not a, the duffel shot, this is a pill that you take for 10 days, for the first 10 days of the month, I'm going to prescribe you these, and then we're going to come back with another appointment okay mind you you know my husband and I we had got married at the time we just didn't think about you know why would I get pregnant or anything like that because I was having so many problems with my hormones and it was just keeping me from you know being able to you know be pregnant so I um, did the, the pills for 10 days and I was feeling great I had a lot of energy I started getting up earlier in the morning I, when I worked my work, um, you know, the way that I work was just awesome. You know, I did, I felt wonderful. Then comes, I think it was last year, January. I just started feeling really, really bad, and I didn't know what was going on, and it was just terrible, you know. I was pregnant, you guys. I was pregnant. I never would have thought I was pregnant. And um, those pills, those little Provera pills is what I believe is what really kind of like helped with the pregnancy not that we were trying to but I was just trying to balance my hormones out so after I had my son you know um of course you gain weight and he's only six months he's six months old today and uh I started gaining a lot of weight and um well not really gaining a lot of weight but I started getting like feeling really icky and groggy and you know and just terrible so I am now coming over those same issues again, but I choose this time I am not using Provera and I am opting for a more natural, um, you know, effect to it. So I'm gonna like show you some supplements that I use and um, they are awesome, you guys. Like without these supplements, I just don't know how I would feel. So uh, the first supplement um, I bought from Amazon, I was really researching like female issue hormone. If you go and type in Amazon, they have, you know, just everything. But um, I was looking for something that would correct hormone imbalance. And this was the one that had a lot of ratings. Like the ratings were awesome and uh, the reviews were like really, really good. That's how I really like when I buy something, y'all, I have to look at the reviews, so. This is what I use. It's called Female Complex Herbal Combination. I'm going to try to get it in there so y'all can see. Because I know it's like a glare. It says Female Complex Herbal Combination, 800 milligrams. Discover Nature's Answer. And the brand is by Nature's Answer. And uh, these are 800 milligrams for two. You're supposed to serve size is two you're supposed to take two every time you eat but the pills these are the caplets right here you want to see how they look 
because I know some people want to see. I be wanting to see everything, y'all. But those are the pills. I'm trying to make it so that the sun is not so bad. It's not so evil. But uh, those are the pills that I use. And um, those are really, really great. These are really, really great. Um, they're awesome. I just actually bought this like maybe a month ago and I've been taking this for about a month so this is really good I have really noticed like a burst in energy and um and when I bought these my period was on and it was on like with a vengeance y'all it was it would not go off my period was back on for about two weeks so when I took these the first day I took these I think that um my period started to slow up and you know I started feeling better okay the next thing I take you guys is um is what I was taking when I was um if you have gallbladder issues you should definitely take this supplement um I was taking this when my gallbladder was acting up I was starting I was trying to like when I was in pain and I was you know having those issues I was researching um you know natural remedies natural supplements that you can use to help ease gallbladder pain and um and prevent gallbladder pain and uh, this is what I use. It's called Milk Thistle. It's 250 milligrams per soft gel. You take one every meal. You can take it for about three or four times a day. This is the cheap brand from Walmart, you guys. They have other brands, but this one works just fine. I ran out of these um, the other day, and this is a new bottle that I just bought like the other day. I had ran out of these, and I had been through about three of these bottles. And when I wasn't taking those pills, these Milk Thistle pills, for like and I only take them like once or twice a day and when I realized I had ran out of pills I started feeling like really really groggy like I, my, I really started feeling bad so these two things right here together are amazing milk thistle is really really good just by itself like if you have fibroids my mother takes these she has fibroids and she uses milk thistle if you have fibroids and you have um, any kind of inflammation or um these are good for I believe men can take these as well you should definitely hit milk thistle up milk thistle is really good for, for inflammation so I don't know what it does I don't know if something is swollen down there I, I do need to go and you know get a whole physical of um, I need to it's time for me to get a, an exam an annual so um, these are awesome just by themselves milk thistle alone and these um, this is what they look like they're just really simple looking pills really really simple feels like not too bad and I just go I don't they have a very bad smell but I don't really care about the smell I care about you know the results the effect and another thing that um I haven't been taking these lately but I do need to start back and um you guys disclaimer I am not advising anybody to go and buy this stuff if you go and buy it and you have an allergic reaction it is not my fault so disclaimer on that um, you know, you take these at your own risk. I am taking these for my own benefit. I did not go to the doctor and they prescribed this to me at all. This, these are just what I use to help ease my hormonal pain, my hormonal imbalance, not pain, but my hormone issues. So my and symptoms, but if you have facial hair and I noticed when I started taking these pills, if you have facial hair, you can even go look this up. This is actually for a men's um health this is for prostate health and it is what i use for my facial hair to help my facial hair not grow as much and um i was reading up on this and it doesn't say anything about women but it just says adults take one soft gel two times a day it's called saw palmento this was um what i was taking for like my facial hair to help it not grow back as fast i'm guessing this is what the pill bottle looks like and they are soft gels herbal supplement and um, this also says that it can make oh, a woman's uh, boobs grow so I'm pretty much that's the same thing this is like a male version of milk thistle but um this is the soft gel this is what it looks like it's like clear and golden looking but that's what I use uh, for my facial hair. now I haven't been taking this lately but I do need to start back taking it because they were really working that's in it it's also good for um women hormone issues if you want to go look that up and the last fourth thing that i do to help ease any of this is losing weight like before i had weight on me like now like i do now i didn't have any of these problems 
I didn't have any of these problems. The, the problems started when I started eating McDonald's. When I started gaining weight, that's when the issues started happening. So none of this is really gonna make a difference, you guys, if you don't really like watch what you eat, like control your health. Because if you go out and you eat fried chicken every day and McDonald's and Burger King and Pizza Hut and you don't get any kind of physical exercise, none of that is gonna matter. That's where your hormone problems are coming from in the first place. Any doctor will tell you that, anybody will tell you that losing weight is definitely going to help any kind of female problem you have any kind of you know um, pain that you have it will stop it it will I don't even care if you have no feet like you can still get up and move your arms around you can burn just as much calories sitting down as you can standing up so really take advantage of that you guys that's like really the only thing that I would ex you know that I would give out advice to I advise anybody to get up and work out because that is gonna make you feel so much better and you know what the devil was trying to make me feel bad cuz I didn't want to do anything today I've been I've been good y'all I got me a gym membership Monday mind you it's only twenty dollars and I can pay as I go but it's a gym membership and I've been going to the gym every day since Monday so today is Wednesday I'm gonna try to go today and I always do like an hour of cardio and like maybe 20 minutes of like strength lifting yesterday I did um I did thighs and I did my triceps so I am sore but I am feeling really really good and hopefully you know when I do lose the weight I will definitely have my you know my cycle back will be normal and you know everything will be good so that's the only thing I can really say advice that I can advise for people is to lose weight because like I said you can take all of this and it, it was not gonna make a difference you are still gonna have to lose weight you can go and try like a um, like a chemical approach like Provera or whatever but I mean who really wants to take that and they have so many bad so many negative side effects like it's not really any kind of prescription drug that's man-made is not really it's not it's just short term so and then they also have side effects and you know could probably you know most uh, prescription drugs do are known or are said to lower immune system so um, that can make you more prone for diseases and can make you know keep your body from fighting off cancer or any kind of other kind of you know terminal illness that you may or may not get so um, that is all you guys I am so glad I'm thankful to my subscribers my new subscribers I love you guys and I hope that you continue to watch me. I hope that you find me interesting. Like, really find me interesting. So, if you want to go and um, check some of those products out, I will probably leave a link below um, where you can get this. I got most of the... I got these two from Walmart, the Spring Valley, and I got um, this female complex from Amazon for about 9 bucks. Didn't spend a lot of money on any of this, you guys. Very, very affordable. You don't have to go and spend a lot of money unless you just want to do that. Because they have different brands and probably better brands you know more um high-end brands that may work uh, a lot more effectively so um thank you guys for watching this video i hated that this video had to be almost 18 20 minutes long so thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next video and i hope you guys stay real and stay true to yourself and i will see you guys on the next